In bad parenting news. Oh no. Which will never be the best. Hope not. <laughs> I know, right? Submitted by Come to Abu Dhabi. I've been there. I wanna go there. Gina, can you stop rubbing all the shit in our fucking faces? Abu Dhabi, fucking McDonald's. We get it, Gina. You're cooler than us. Wow. We get it. You wow. build sand castles there. No, I didn't get to. Go. Did you visit the Salt Bay guy? No, I wanted to. I wanna visit that. Yeah, guy. but they didn't want to go. There's this. There's in Abu Dhabi. There's this island or this area called Yas Y A S, and every time Yas. I drive by, Yas. The Yas Mall, Yas Island. It was fucking fun as shit. Is that where it came from? I have no, uh, no, I don't think so, but that was fucking awesome. I'm like, I wanna go to Yas! It either came from a 13 year old valley girl or a gay guy from West Hollywood. I wanna say a gay guy, probably. Okay. Or from someone from Abu Dhabi? We have a lot of fans from that area. Dude, yeah, surprisingly, I did like a, just like an impromptu, hey, come out here and just meet me real quick, and, and a lot of people came. Wow. It was awesome, they're so fucking nice. I love them. It's because they speak English? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, because I wanna go there and I wanna ride like a doom baggies, and like oh, drive fast cars cool. and stuff. Oh. You could do that over here too. But it's not, it's not the same, because I wanna wear the Arabian like prince outfits. Oh yeah, how come everyone always wears that when they go over there? So the person that was guiding us there, he's a local there, he said that's basically like men who wear suits to work, that's their formal wear. Oh, yeah. cool. So he wore that to work, so he wears that to work. That's dope. Yeah. I wanna wear that while I'm in a Ferrari or in a dune buggy in the desert because I wanna feel like a old school like raider in a caravan, like going, you know, like, yeah, with the squiggly sword. <laughs> yeah. I forgot what it was called, but yeah, the squiggly JK sword. JK Abu Dhabi trip. I'm fucking Ooh, dead. Dude, That'd be go. sick. You guys can't hold hands, show any P PDA. Well, you can, but then people get We're married. Oh, yeah, that's, that's still, now. like, yeah. Oh, really? They're still weird about it. I know you can't have females, but. The one who guided us, like, he's kind of weird about it, but doesn't say anything, but yeah. I like it over there. I want to go back. Yeah, I want to go to a place where women are beneath men. <laughs> it's more. It, it wasn't <laughs> just a kidding. Story. Just kidding. I thought you were gonna hit me. <laughs> no, I was going to. I was like, oh shit. I was like, it's a good joke. Okay. A mother was asked by her fiance to give up her son before they marry, and she is actually thinking about it. Holy shit, man! Fuck you. Unless is this a like... son from another relationship? Yeah. Apparently, I mean, not that it matters. Uh, unless he's an adult. No, that's kind of shitty still. Hell yeah. Well, if he's like an adult and he's a piece of shit, uh, yeah. That bitch. There's a lot of shitty ass women who would actually drop their kids for a man. Like, and there's a lot of shitty ass kids that you want to <laughs> get rid of. <laughs> I was one of them. But shitty ass kids aren't born, they're made. What the fuck? I don't know about that. Sometimes they're born. Some people would say, listening to his stories, he was a fucking shitty kid, but when we really dissect it and get to the meat of it all, he was just an under-stimulated- I was just a very curious kid. Exactly, but people could say that you were a shitty kid, so what happens should we kill him? When you steal. Should we kill him? Not oh, shitty, oh, just oh. misunderstood. I know, that's what I'm saying, but you see? So not kids are shitty. Yeah, so this uh, story was posted on this advice blog called Dear Wendy. She wrote her story in the advice vlog. So she's asking Wendy for advice. What a piece of dukes. Yeah, so here's what she wrote. I'm a 30 year old divorcee with a son. I have joint custody with my ex-husband. My boyfriend who is also divorced has a daughter who is under the sole custody of his ex-wife. She's only, probably a piece of shit. Probably. I only get to spend time with my son on alternate weekends and my boyfriend doesn't see his daughter at all. My boyfriend already proposed to me but one month after proposing, he wants me to give up seeing my son. I did tell him that my parents want to spend time with my son too, and they can only do that on the alternate weekends I see him. He told me that he wants to go overseas to work, and meanwhile, I can use this period to think about whether I want to give up my son for him. I have thought of giving up my son after we married, but how am I supposed to answer it to my parents? What a bitch. My mother has depression and my father has cancer. I don't want them to be sad knowing they will lose a grandson. She's oh more worried God. about her parents loving the kid than That's her herself son. losing a kid. Yep. And what the fuck kind of guy gives you that ultimatum? Exactly. A uh, insecure idiot. bitch? Both pieces of shit. Little bitch ass motherfucker. Shit. I think I think I would be the kind of guy that's like, you need to fucking hang out with your kid yeah. more. Yep. You irresponsible yeah. bitch. <laughs> Yep. How does he make his mouth curl up? <laughs> <laughs> like it's a mustache? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that's such an undesirable trait. Yeah. It is. Because yeah. now how is she going to treat your guys' future kid? Exactly. Mm -hmm. So she continues. My boyfriend told me when we started dating that he could not accept my son. And I know not all men can. 
I'm actually. That's not a man. I'm That's actually, a bitch. Yeah. I'm actually prepared to give up my son after marriage, but my boyfriend wants me to do it right now. I want to be with my boyfriend, and yet I can't bear to let my parents feel sad because of their illnesses. Fuck you, you I, piece of trash. I also have mother's guilt in me because my son loves me so much. What no I shit, do? you oh dumb fucking God. piece of shit. It's fucking dump your you boyfriend. Him. You're his fucking hero, you stupid dumb cunt. She should dump herself. He sounds so controlling, like he's trying to cut her off of everything. She sounds like an idiot though. Yeah, she makes the worst life decisions ever too. He's probably like, you know what, we need to just start fresh. You know, forget about the mistakes that we made in the past. I don't even see my daughter anymore. <laughs> so I think you should start fresh too. And we should start fresh together. That's probably what he's thinking. Oh my god. So the guy's from Jersey. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> and a girl and a girl's like, I don't know, I think my son really loves me, so I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 baby, baby, shut up. What we're gonna do is this, okay? We're gonna start fresh. Okay, no more mistakes, just start fresh. <laughs> that's bait. That's probably what's yeah. happening because yeah. there's insecure fucks out there that want zero like remnants of a past relationship. There's guys out there that are so fucking jealous. They get jealous of a non-existent past relationship. Yeah, like, like my you, ex. You fucked. You fucked guys before me? How dare you, you whore? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> That's true. People have a life before they meet you, you fuckface. You're telling me you're not a virgin? Insecurity yeah. and controlling. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. That's that's pretty stupid. Yeah, like my ex, he wanted to erase Isaac's dad out of the picture. With what, like a fucking eraser? He wanted to be yeah. like, no, he's just the babysitter. I'm your real dad. No. That's what he would say to Isaac? No, no, no. And I would let him like an idiot. Can you believe that? But was like, he paying for everything and fathering him like a motherfucker? Uh, Cause if he was doing some Casey him. level shit, I could oh, see that. Casey Cause Casey like, fucking, I'm like, dude, if I was Isaac's dad, I'd be like, just call him daddy because Casey's awesome. And that's what he did. He said that. He, his dad actually told him. That's me. dope. Yep. If really? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Casey murders his dad daddy. He is. <gasps> oh, cute. I'm never hearing you. Casey's dad is so cute. Casey should be our kid's dad, too. Oh. Yeah, he calls his own dad dad, and he calls Casey daddy. Oh. What if he calls him uh, by a Chinese, call him like Baba? Baba. Baba? <laughs> baba? Yeah. Dad and then Baba. How yeah. cute. Well, well, he should call his real dad creator. And then. Creator. Yeah. I am here. Make me a sandwich. <laughs> be involved too, so it's not like he's a bad father either, but how would you guys respond to this girl? Dude, uh, uh, social right. services, where do you live so yeah. I can send social <laughs> services? Yeah. No, no, it's, yeah. first of all, you know what, that's a great idea. Where do you live? Give me your address. I want to send you some nice stuff and then send social services. Yeah. yeah. Is she hot? <laughs> that's the no. no question number one. If she was hot, you can date her and ruin her life and be like, that's what you fucking get. That's but that doesn't the save kid. the kid. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. How old is that kid? I mean, <laughs> they don't mention it. Just whatever I read is what we have. Gotcha. I'm assuming he's little. Imagine if she's like 60 something and the kid's like 30. <laughs> <laughs> she can't be. She's got she's parents 30. alive still. Oh, true, true, true. She's, it says she's 30. In the advice. Call. Oh, she's she's, she's thirty. Oh, yeah, so the yeah. kid's young still. The kid is yeah. Could be could be twelve. Could yeah. could be five. We don't know. Dude, that sucks. But Imagine if the kid what? found out that it, like it, she's considering that. That sucks. It goes to show how stupid she is. So I don't think she's shady. I think she's dumb. She's really mm -hmm. dumb because she's considering it and she's also she needs advice. So I think subconsciously she knows it might be wrong. She has a gut feeling. She's like, I think it's kind of wrong, but I need to double check. <laughs> you know, I don't know about death one. Yeah. You know, he loves me, so should I listen to my boyfriend or my baby boy? My mom does have cancer. I don't know. Do you guys want to hear man. Wendy's response? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you fucking dumb right. bitch. Go, Wendy, go, Wendy, go. This is what Wendy said. Yeah, no shit you have mother's guilt. You're willing to give up the little bit of time you have with your son, which is already a depressingly small amount for a monster of a man who doesn't see his own child and doesn't think you should see yours? Shame on you. Are you so lonely and so desperate for a husband that you would cast away your own child? Yep. Apparently so. Mm -hmm. Please, please get yourself to therapy and figure out what the fuck is wrong with you that you would behave in such an appalling, disgraceful way. I'm not even touching on your parents. That you would use them and their illnesses as the main reason to maybe keep seeing your son occasionally speaks volumes. Get help. Don't even go to therapy. Just jump off a bridge. Fuck it. 
Fuck it. This Thank goes to show, like, guys really just care about looks. You think it's looks? Hmm? Or like... Like reputation? No, I mean, like, guys would just fuck anything. Oh. There's crazy bitches that want men to do Like, it, do it doesn't matter. I don't think any guy goes, I want, I want a really intelligent girl. You know what I mean? Like, it was later in life that I said, you know what? I think I really have to date someone that's intelligent. That was like in my late 20s. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... Uh, that's uh, Before that is, I want someone cute. Yeah. I want someone that's fun, someone nice. It's... <laughs> that's understandable. People get fucking pranked. Why do these people... I don't know. Uh, <laughs> gas fun. chambers! <laughs> uh, there's so many stupid people that are just having way too many babies. And it's just like, I there's know. this one girl on my Facebook. I'm just like, every she's on her third one. Oh my God. And it's just like, you... Fucking dumb idiot. Can we control the gene pool, please? Can we can we force people to be fucking sterile, please? I'm down. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. But if you didn't, guess what? You can directly contribute to the articles that we discussed. Just cruise on over to the description box below. Click on that link to submit your article. Also, for the next video, click right up here.